సభాయ నమ గాడ్స్ క్రియేషన్ ఇస్ రియల్లీ వెరీ వెరీ వండర్ఫుల్ అండ్ ఫంటాస్టిక్ బికాస్ హీ నోస్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ ది లైఫ్ హిస్టరీ ఆఫ్ ఎ పర్సన్ అండ్ హీ రైట్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఆన్ అవర్ ఫోర్ రైట్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అవర్ బర్త్ అవర్ డెత్ డేట్ ఆల్సో ఫిక్స్డ్ బై ద గాడ్ బిఫోర్ వీ కమ్ టు ఆన్ దర్త్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ బికాస్ వీ సీ ఈవెన్ బీ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ వీ ఆర్ సెలెక్టింగ్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ డేట్ అండ్ ఎక్స్పైరీ డేట్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్స్ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ ప్రొడ్యూసింగ్ టు ది సెండింగ్ టు ద మార్కెట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ after all we are creating an article a thing for that we are mentioning the validity of the article and also that is we say expiry date then why not god can decide our destiny in this regard we are really fortunate to have the sages like agastya bhrugu etc who found a shastra which uh, explains our way of life and stature of life and our entire history of life especially that is called nadi shastra especially there are bhrugu nadi shastra agastya nadi shastra etc in the sense of nadi shastra it does not require any uh, horoscopes etc even it should not uh, find out your samudrika etc in olden days there were written all our history on palm leaves that is called తాళపత్ర ఎస్పెషల్లీ నాడి శాస్త్ర ఈజ్ ఫేమస్ ఇన్ తమిళనాడు ఎస్పెషల్లీ ఇన్ వైదీశ్వరన్ కోయిల్ నియర్ టు తంజావూర్ ఇన్ వైదీశ్వరన్ కోయిల్ వీ కెన్ ఫైండ్ సో మెనీ అస్ట్రాలజర్స్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ హూ ఆర్ ఎక్స్పర్టైజ్ ఇన్ నాడి శాస్త్ర గ్రంథ దేస్ టు కాలేజ్ they used to tell us ask us to come and hear about our past present future in horoscope generally in astrology we can see the present and future in everywhere we can see present and future in numerology astrology faciology whatever the thing but only in nadi shastra we can get the detail of our previous birth see what a wonderful creation by the sages like agastya and bhrugu who were worked on this regard even without watching or observing our horoscope on seeing our uh, nadi they can say the detail of ours see god's creation is wonder why no because no single per- no other person gets same fingerprints in this earth each and every human being is different from one another how it possible we can say here we can praise here the god and his creation he knows everything how to judge the people whom they are sending on this earth today in this regard we are going to analyze the detailed history of nadi shastra which make us to know about us at least a bit of the knowledge in this way we can try to understand what is nadi shastra what are or what were what will be explained in our life history let us follow it 
before that prayer guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmai shri gurave namaha brugunandi nadi astrology has a different methodology it is distinct from the parashara system it is a branch of nadi astrology ancient way of prophecy before parashara sage it means to give predictions without checking the sas and transit over rasi it allows practitioner to see the natives whole life in the natal chart mean birth chart although this sounds simple much knowledge must be obtained before this can be practiced nadi astrology is the most accurate of all schools of astrology nadi scripts are believed to be composed by the sages important one among them is the sage agastya that's why they call agastya nadi nadi scripts are written in vetteyuthu i mean ancient tamil script on palm leaves and is extensively used in vaidishwaran koyil in tamil nadu it is believed that if only your destiny allows you you will seek to your nadi and go in search for that right hand thumb for males and left hand thumb for females are used in order to get your accurate nadi for each thumb print there are 5 to 6 matching nadis mean bundles each one of them having 50 to 100 leaves what leaves palm leaves first your most matching bundle will be selected according to your thumb impression and then by asking simple questions they will and move on leaf to leaf until they get your exact leaf and then predictions will start the scripts were initially stored in saraswati mahal tanjore in tamil nadu some leaves were auctioned during the rule of britishers in india scientifically it is believed that each person's thumb impression is unique and can never be the same see what a creation we can note that in the nadi astrology too thumb impression is to find your nadi hence that nadi is uniquely made for you in the nadi granthas the lagna is considered as a primary importance a few nadis consider the lines in the hand mean hasta rekha and give results when the results do not agree the consultant has instructed to go through the previous or the next chart of the elucidation elucidation mean explanation lagna is helpful to find out the actual position of a planet on a particular day plants move constantly we can see nadi as how jupiter for the birth children mercury for education saturn for profession venus for marriages jupiter transit over the sign occupied by ketu for religious travels mean pilgrimage yes saturn mean shani is a lord of karma mean work he is neither good or not bad the results depend on the position of saturn he is a transit indicates the changes in this way we can get the detailed life history of brugunand nadi we can see a typical analysis is given in nadi grantha as follows the master proceeds to delineate the effect of the placement of planets and the signs of the right hand a person has a four chakras and another sign resembling a fish in his right hand the person is born in a saiva community but he does not see any difference between shiva and vishnu so did 
he said to nandikeshwara to marke markandeya the disciple wanted to know how to find out the community of the birth the master said if it is possible to know the same also besides a community such is the science of astrology you can see that jupiter is uh, posited in Ca uh, capricorn in ishwaramsa sign owned by saturn and just below there is the moon representing parvati and ketu representing as a tail techniques of brigunadi methodology and effects of mercury in various houses are brought to know the distinctions of astrology it is an important limbo of vedic astrology it follows a different methodology quite distinct from the parashara system for example of brugunadi jupiter in a native horoscope in aries I mean mesha rasi therefore for all practical purposes we consider jupiter to be in aries for a period of 12 years and its conjunction with other planets will determine the broad events in the first 12 years for the native we only take the seventh aspect into consideration and no other aspect which is gain a deviation to be remember great importance is given to the sign in which the planet is posited the conjunction of the planets the planet which leads in conjunction in terms of its degrees planets which are in 12th house of a particular planet planets which are in the next house of the sign in which a particular planet is placed and planets which are opposite to their concerned planets the planet will be imbibable the quality of the planets of which it is a depositor if saturn is a depositor jupiter and mercury it will change its character according to and give ascribed results therefore for each 12 year the ascendant would be the sign where jupiter is placed governing its event of those 12 years and then for the next 12 years it will be rotated in the next house which will go on on the events for the next 12 years and conforms to the indication of the prime placement let us study here the disposition of mercury in detail the various effects produced by mercury when posited in different houses in a horoscope are as follows for example see mercury in the ascendant learn proficiency in witchcraft and black magic sweet talk and kind hearted pilgrimage in the 27th year if conjunct malefic mean bad or staying in a malefic houses uh, excess of bile if conjunct or aspect of benefic but staying in a malefic house good health lustrous body knowledge of astrology slight defect in any organ bitterness with good people quarrels and misunderstanding with brothers in the 17th year deceitful if exalted or occupying own house happiness from brother comes if uh, debilitated or conjunct aspected by malefic will go to hell after death if conjunct or aspected by saturn trouble in left eye in this yoga if we conjunct with the lord of the sixth or in the deliberation no such defect wasteful expansions if conjunct with a benefic or occupying a favorable house charity is a proficiency in debating and use of arms well built today mercury in the second house tactative good number of children interest in saturn sastras contented rich praiseworthy habits acquires good health education by the year 15 by the age of 15 if conjunct with malefic or staying in malefic houses or in deliberation then poor education rheumatic and 
plasmatic diseases if conjunct are aspected by the jupiter proficiency in mathematics and astrology and self confidence improvement if mercury stays in the 10th house there will be pros and cons in good deeds highly courageous reputed highly prosperous i disease in the 28th year if i place if placed in exaltation own house are the conjunct jupiter these days we hear about people with powers of extra sensory perceptions the rishis were holy sages who occupied themselves in concentrating on the divine being paramatma more than that they were able to know the future by their foresight with the foresight the rishis like agastya kaushika vasishta having given predictions for the human being occupying this world the rishis have ignored the last two and confined their predictions only to human beings and that too not for all the humans predictions or given only for such for those persons who the rishis out of their fore knowledge knew will come forward to study these predictions the exact age in which each such a person will come for this study these predictions the exact age in which each and each such person will come from this study have also been foretold by rishis these predictions were inscribed on palm leaves respective on the subjects they dealt from and stored them in big libraries of saraswati mahal taj mahal tanjur brigubindu nadi shastra is a special point in the horoscope that can be part of any house in the natal chart natal chart means generally we can say birth chart it is a midpoint between rahu and the moon this is concept is to understand one's life was through an astrology consultant uh, sanjeev gadkar from astro 786 it is also a unique part of vedic astrology it is an alternative or a different way of looking for future the concept was introduced by the sage brigu the assumption that this concept is based on the positioning of rahu in the birth chart this is what will help you to navigate points like your career and life path brigubindu is the meditating uh, point into other aspects of our own chart and helps to understand the are uh, reading a lot better it is early for us to surf through the brigubindu about the life cycle of one's present and future aspects brigubindu is one of a kind method in astrology of talking or taking a destiny by somebody's predetermination it is also called a destiny point as a destiny consistently related with somebody's life this is most ideal approach to check the career and interest of the native brigubindu is a non existent mathematical midpoint among rahu and moon and frequently gives ordained outcomes it is viewed as a exceptionally delicate point in the chart the expectation of a travel after affects of a planet on a non existence midpoint among rahu and the moon which is known as brigubindu it is determined subsequent to discovering how for the moon has advanced from rahu after the last conjunction in the birth chart this point is very sensitive at the point where any planet benefic or malefic dis, uh, during travel angels are conjuncts this midpoint some great or troublesome occasion happens uh, incidentally the impacts of travel by combination are more powerful than those by perspective 
here and there when at this uh, two benefic planets at the same time travel over or perspective to this brigu bindu the size of good outcome uh, increments as it were same way if at least two malefic planets <coughs> travel or perspective to this point the size of a negative outcomes increments call creation of bruguna brugu bindu nadi the mathematical method to calculate brugu bindu nadi uh, to take the longitude of moon include it and longitude of rahu and divide them by 2 and the remaining number would be the degree point Brigubindi is can likewise be determined by deducting the longitude of Rahu from that of Moon. The difference is divided by two. The quotient acquired ought to be added to Rahu's position, and the outcome will be the Rahu Moon midpoint in Brigubindu. Natal chart interpretation. Being destiny point, we may gather that. Destiny will have actual job of the house, where Brigu Bindu falls. Its ruler, uh, nakshatra, nakshatra, lord, and the planets affecting by position, as well as angle this house. Astrologers must come to an obvious conclusion and translate for certain uh, four ordained outcomes related with these impacts for a native. It is important that we distinct Brigu Bindu sign or group of uh, stars and particular disposters situating from the moon. Natal angels of Brigu Bindu, those portrayed from Arudra star point of view, we ought to have explicit emphasis on heavenly body. Brigu Bindu position house will likewise speak to pending karma from. previous existence mean maybe birth the travels of regular benefics or the malefics will also show the appearance of pending karma bound outcomes brigu bindu in different houses the brigu bindu in kendra houses 1 4 7 10 indicates early achievements in existence with less endeavors brigu bindu in trikona house Demonstrate tremendous measures of karma. Brigubin in train house originates from a great deal of training, learning, and insight. Brigubin do in Dustana houses of six, eight, twelve. Demonstrated house accomplishment with the three tremendous measure of endeavors throughout every day life. Transit. interpretation at the point when any planet benefic or malefic in travel perspectives are conjunct to the brigu bindu positive or negative are to be expected respectively conjunct over this point are more viable than those by proper prospective or perspective traveling planets over our aspecting brigu bindu gives unmistakable ordained outcomes frequently characteristic magnetic signs saturn rahu ketu sun mars give negative and narrated benefices mean jupiter venus and so forth give positive outcomes <coughs> the impacts of travel by combination are stronger than those by angel uh, in some cases when at least two benefic planets all the while travel over or angle to the brigu bindu the size of good outcome increment all things considerable in this regard travelers of planets to the brigu bindu point will be particularly huge during uh, dosha or bhukti times of herbs are during their bhukti periods inside the planet shaping in the mid cap brigu bindu is known as the destiny point or a luck area and is considered as species as when planets transit over this destiny point 
वन कैन अक्यूमुलेट लॉट ऑफ गुड कर्मा और लूज लॉट ऑफ बैड कर्मा वेन मेजर ट्रांसिस लाइक सैटर्न और जूपिटर हैपन ओवर दिस पॉइंट वंस लाइफ कैन चेंज ड्रैस्टिकली ब्रुगबिंदु कैलकुलेशन असेसमेंट इज ह्यूज साइंस इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड सरप्राइजिंगली नॉट ओनली मेनी सीम टू यूज इट एंड टू मेक प्रोडिक्शंस हवा इट इज मोस्टली सीन फॉर ट्रांसिट अप प्रोवाइडेड इवन अष्टक वर्ग स्कोर ऑफ ट्रांसिटिंग प्लान इज स्ट्रांग नाडी शास्त्र the past present and future nadi shastra is believed to have been composed by sapta rishis they change for each manvantra they name mainly by agastya it's a was a leader he is also tamil siddha who is believed to have lived for more than 5 years ante 5000 years uh, old all these things we can find in brubnadi what are the benefits of nadi shastra that first we have to know whatever the topic we see we were hunt, we are very curious the benefits according to nadi shastra your atman or spirit is the real you it does not have mind body or desire and is eternal and cannot be formed or destructed the physical changes that apply to your body such as birth childhood teenage adulthood or old age and death do not matter to the atman in nadi shastra however your atman enters into a different body depending on the good or bad deeds or the karma it has accumulated good karma leads to a good life and bad karma leads to a bad life no matter which country caste creed or religion we belong uh, to as humanity is believed that we are controlled by the nine planets or navagrahas if one has always been a healthy person who never falls sick then according to the nadi shastra it could be because uh, he performed a lot of good deeds uh, in his previous birth god brahma who dedicates what is supposed to be given to you cannot be there by directly so he created 84000 siddhas as channels to perform their duty for them another group of public public servants they have supernatural abilities and present in through nadi shastra Agastya is the leader of the all siddhas and chooses the jiva karnyam which means not to harm any living being he wants all of them to receive ignana mean supreme self knowledge revealing the secrets of all human rights the recorded predictions of nadi shastra were compiled by practical sages and named after them some of these that are available nowhere agastya nadi shukha nadi brahma nadi and kaushika nadi these are all written in ancient tamil scriptures and a sharp instrument was used to write these inscriptions on the palm leaves in this way brugnandi nadi is completely based on one's karma of previous birth it is said that once nodi less a nodi leaf uh, can only be found in one fortunate and have to hear the readings it has often taken years to find the nadi inscriptions of a person thus we can say nadi shastra is containing a detailed description of this story of their life the nadi leaves give an effective readings about the future of an individual let us conclude te kanta kalyana nide nide dinam dive engana vasaya srinivasaya engana mangala jasam premada charya purogamai sarvaeshya purvai rachare sakrutaya tumangalam